Anyway, I decided to do a quick video of the free fan of the bathroom in our in the apartment we're staying in during our vacation in Kyoto, Japan. I always thought anything prefab was cool and interesting because it, you know, improvises with like, I mean, not really improvises, but improvises, but tries to fit in every kind of, you know, application. And also, I particularly like prefab bathrooms because of the fact that I'm not sure exactly if it's prefab or not, but it clearly seems especially designed to be a really good bathroom. <laughs> what I like is, the, is how the materials meant to handle moisture and bathroom mold. But anyways, here we are the actual bathroom. The actual bathroom. As in, you know, not the toilet, but, but you know, the place where you like wash. And there's also the laundry room, as you can see, you got this washer. I just wonder if this is actually a washer dryer as well, but it was even by when they say dry, they just mean dry to not completely dry, but you know, damp. I don't think I don't think this is a dryer because it's no dryer that damp or not. So anyways, maybe there is. It just doesn't fit to the outside because you know we've got this exhaust system over here. <laughs> Anyways, here's one thing I find interesting about prefab bathrooms for one is how they try and put more than one water source into one drain line into one you know, drain, like here for instance As you can see This drain is supposed to take one water from here and from the washing machine, which is interesting Here, nothing special much, but it's kind of like plumbing and whatnot. I wonder where it leads to this, or at least that. And also, by the way, this is not magnetic, this is this goes just using like you know clamps and whatnot. <laughs> and by the way, I forgot to mention earlier that this oh, did I just do that? That is not good. I locked the door. Before closing it, which is never a good thing. This vent leads to this fan. Actually, there's a little lock that runs to this fan. And there's maybe another blower on top or something like that, which takes the air. I'm tired, so I, so I might not make the best video, but those are last nights. I'm gonna make this video now. I don't know what, 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 you, what you are seeing, but I can't see anything much. Anyways, there's that. And there's actually a really good exhaust fan, by the way. It's essentially rather than just the cheap axial fan, which doesn't create much static pressure. I mean, in this application, a centrifugal fan is better because then you don't have to open doors as wide. And in winter, when it gets really cold, you don't have to open do you don't have to, you don't have to, you know, open doors as wide and let in as much cold air. And I mean, there'll be quite a bit of cold anyway. But the thing is, if you're not open that much, there's less, you know, drafts from natural wind. Then we start here. We got the towel, which is plastic or whatever material they use. It's a water heater thing. It's shower head with the shower head and whatnot. What I don't like about the shower head though is that there's no sprinkler setting. There's no you know, sprinkler setting, like spray setting, which I used to spray my feet and whatnot. And. Nothing 
too special. And here, and I don't know what that is. And so if I can buy that now, I don't know what it is. And what could be a could be like a pressure that fried again. But I don't know. And here. I'm gonna roll my sleep because I'm gonna wash my hands right after. And here we got another one to the drain. Those fancy drain systems. So we've got more than one water source here on the one drain. See this this here leads from the top. And this takes me water from the shower area. But it's one thing I find really cool about this bathroom. Yeah. Actually, this up before there was before there was a lot more hair here. It's older, and apparently never managed, never bothered to clean it. But anyways, I know if there's a screw waterproof light you can use here. It's plastic, but it looks almost like glass with a screw. But anyways. That's what this area is having. Thanks for watching.